Now, I did a little bit more reading and uh, found out that uh, there's some extra stuff that is documented at the uh, Ableton Haben Sie LSD. website. Uh, you can create a special file called options.txt, and that goes in a hidden folder. And there's instructions on how to access uh, hidden folders on Windows and Mac OS X at the uh, Ableton uh, dot com website and uh, two things you can put in uh, if you don't want uh, Ableton Live to work as a rewire master uh, or host controller then uh, you can put in an option rewire master off and uh, so I tried that and that uh, doesn't prevent it from running as a slave and so you know I left it in for the time being uh, I think that's what it does but you know it's hard to guess uh, also, you can specify the number of rewire channels. The default is 16, uh, minimum is 0, and max is 64. So I put it at 64. And uh, so that's kind of the way that works. And um, Für erfahrene Anwender. I say the way you get to it on the Mac is you uh, go up here to this uh, Go window in Finder, and you click on it, and then... Uh, there's a folder in there called Library, except you don't see it unless you push the Option Alt button, which is a, a single button on the Mac. It has it has two names, but it's just one button. And when you do that, uh, yeah, you said that Library showed up, so that's kind of cool, yeah. And then you, you click on Library, and then you find Preferences. Is this the way to us? Yeah, uh, and then you click on uh, Preferences. And you find out that uh, there's a Ableton folder, and down here it's the options.txt file, and you know it's a, it's the right folder because uh, preferences.cfg is also in that same folder. It's the live 9.0.1, and uh, this is what options.txt looks like. Uh, it's got two entries right now: dash rewire channels equals 64. Dash rewire master off. The rewire master off is probably, uh, I don't know if you need that, but uh, I think what it does is it uh, tells Ableton Live 9 uh, not to run as a rewire host controller, only to run as a slave. Uh, I haven't tested that yet, but uh, it does work as a uh, rewire slave, so you know I, I think that's probably okay. Yeah, and so that's great. And uh, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, now I already have a, uh, Notion 4 32-bit mode running. I started it first, so it's the rewire host controller. And uh, Ableton Live 9 uh, started second, and it's the uh, the rewire slave. And so that's great. And um, let's see, I found out something else, too. Um, Sind Sie ein Glöckner? When I'd add a new virtual instrument using one of the uh, Ableton Live 9 virtual instruments uh, like the Ionosphere guitar. Um, I was also hearing piano notes. Haben Sie LSD? And I couldn't figure out where they were coming from, but I, I eventually figured out that they were coming from... Uh, it, it was actually when I played this uh, MIDI keys, uh, it was actually playing the piano over in Notion at the same time. So that was pretty weird, and uh, what I finally figured out is, well, the destination for MIDI keys is uh, IEC driver, IEC bus 1, and uh, that's what I had uh, set up over in uh, Notion under preferences, uh, under MIDI. I had its MIDI input set to the same thing, so, you know, it was like, you know, every time I pressed MIDI keys, it, like, it, it was sending it to Notion and to uh, Ableton Live, so I, I just temporarily set uh, Notion's MIDI input to none, and then that kind of you know put a stop to that, and so that's uh, spanky, yeah. And, Max uh, to my tambourine. So now, uh, uh, when I play the MIDI keys, uh, I just get the Ionosphere guitar thing. Thank you. 
Yeah, so that's kind of neat. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if I figured out a lot more stuff, but... Um, Ist dies der Weg zu uns? Let's see. Uh, Sie haben ein großes Saxophon. This little red button is important if you're going to record. And um, these little square buttons, uh, that's it if you want to hear the tracks. Now, I, I want to hear these two. Uh, I want to hear all the stuff, so I've got them all going. And uh, let's, I think I've got this selected. Yeah, that's selected. And so I'm going to uh, go up here to Notion. I'm going to back it up, start it, uh, you know, set it on the first beat of the first measure. And then we'll switch back over here to uh, Ableton Live. And I'm going to, let's see, uh, okay, I got this little guy here, this clip selected. I'm going to press record in Ableton Live. And I'll press record here. Now I'm recording. Für erfahrene Anwender. Oh, okay, so that's great. And uh, let's say, uh, better uh, save this because it only runs for 30 minutes. And then it uh, stops running because it's a trial version. Uh, and so, anyway, that's, uh, uh, let's see if I can uh, rewind everything and maybe play it. Uh, it's something else too. I don't know. It, uh, transport Ist das ein Tremolo? Uh, you have to manually set it back to where you want it, or at least that's the way I do it. And so, here we go. Let's see. I think this ought to work. Let me make sure this is turned. Yeah. That's on. Uh, green means it's on. I want to disarm it for recording. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ist das ein Affe? Sind Sie ein Mensch? Haben Sie LSD? Haben Sie LSD? Yeah, and uh, 30 minutes is over, so 
Haben Sie eine Kuhglocke?